What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Fire Red walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through a lot, guys. Well, right here in this little island right here, and our girlfriend Lorelai, she's here. She's protecting the Pokemon and all that stuff. We found out that, you know, you can breed Pokemon right here, and then, yeah, we got ourselves the HM07 Waterfall, because, well, we're only going to be using it one time, and I did say that I was going to do something right here. You know, grab a little item. Pretty sure it's something very minuscule, so I got myself a spare Onyx that I actually captured off screen. And, yes, I was correct. We got ourselves a star piece that will, you know, give us a lot of money, a lot of money so it's pretty cool. So, I'll be right back with you guys. Gonna be switching out this Pokemon, and then we're gonna continue with this whole thing. Okay, guys, so here we are back, and we're gonna be going straight to Five Island right here. And what you can actually find in Five Island is quite a few things, you know. Team Rocket. You know, for instance, Team Rocket, yeah, that kind of stuff. And uh, quite a few other things, too, up north. So, let's go right ahead and start off with, uh, let's see, what is this? Uh, Five Island, the Chrono Island, where time goes. <laughs> okay, so we're going to be visiting some houses, see if we can get some, some cool stuff. And that meadow has belonged to our family for generations. I should have a giant mansion built on it. It would be preferable having those thugs run uh, wild in it. Well, it looks like Team Rocket has a... Uh, made their or stick their claim to this whole place and of course these people are telling me that you know team rocket has been uh, running amok right here in the five isle meadow so that's what we're going to be doing now here's another thing too guys we made a little bit of a switch that's right you see puss and boots right there okay so as you guys can see i switched out five pokemon i'm going to try and uh, level these guys up too I'm going to give them some screen time, and then, you know, from the time we get to the last bit of the Pokemon League, yes, we will find the team that will actually uh, go for the second go-around. Because if you guys remember, second go-around, the Elite Four, they have different Pokemon, including Gary himself. So, these are the five Pokemon that I want to bring in. Eventually, there's going to be some switches of some other Pokemon that we, don't, we can't get in Kanto. And right here, we found ourselves a Max uh, Potion. And right here, we're going to be finding ourselves... A Pidgeotto at level 48. Yeah, these Pokemon are going to be stacked. And, well, you guys see Talk to Batman on my team, yes. I'm trying to make it happy. Somehow. I don't know. This guy's looking at me. So, what's going to happen right here is... We're going to do a little bit of a switch training and then use the other Pokemon right here. Of course, we're going to be speed training it, too. And this area is strictly off limits. Oh, out. Oh, wow. Okay. So, here we go, taking on a Team Rocket member, and, well, we're going to be speeding it through. As you guys can see, we are highly underleveled, so let's go with Ultra Psycho. Psychic Attack for the win, and he's going to be coming out with the Grimer, so let's go with Bones. And it looks like Bones can actually take care of himself right here, so let's go with that. And Toxic Batman grows to level 23. He's coming out with a Monk, so let's go right ahead and do the same thing, Bone Meringue. And we are poisoned, but Bones takes care of it. And look at that, level 42. That's how you do it. Okay. Alrighty, so let's go right ahead and heal up our Pokemon because, you know, we're good trainers like that. So let's go right ahead and put this on Bones. Look at that, Bones. That's right, okay. So let's see. The other thing, too, about Toxic Batman is that it can evolve through happiness. So if I leave it in the first uh, slot of my, my Pokemon team, a little bit of happiness will be included in it. And, well, let's go right ahead and put Puss in Boots to cut through the shortcut because I really don't want to get attacked by some of these Pokemon right here. Going into, like, four through seven island, some of these Pokemon are just souped up. Yes. And, well, here we have, uh, Ekans. Holy crud. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna speed this through right here. Let's go straight for Sparky and Thunderbolt our way right here. Paralyzed, that's right. And I'm surprised that this Pokemon hasn't used its shed skin, but look at that. We're going to be switching it out right here. Let's go with Bone or uh, Toxic Batman. I wonder what would happen if I battled this guy. And yes, we have fallen asleep, so never mind. So let's go straight for Old Ultra Psycho. And just like that, level 24. And well, let's go right ahead and do Toxic Batman again. So yeah, we're going to be speed training through this whole thing, guys. And yes, let's go with... Uh, Good old Puss in Boots. I know some of you guys missed it. In Crap Baskets, I fell in, I've fallen asleep. So we're going to continue on right here. And, well, it looks like we're going to use a full restore. Yes, I know. I should have just uh, 
I should have woken it up with a Poke Flute, but you know, I do what I want right here. So there we go. Hurt itself by confusion. Let's screech it. And there we go. And just like that, we win. Yes. We're going to struggle a little, guys. Just a little bit. And, well, first things first. Let's go right ahead and go through the water area because there is an extra item right around this area right here. And all you need to do is grab it. Here we have the PP up. All jokes aside, yes, it's a very good item to actually um, increase the PP. Yes, the PP of your Pokemon and crap baskets. We are getting attacked. And it is going to be a level 44 Pidgey. So, <laughs> yeah, they got, they got Pokemon right here. They got Pokemon right here that will uh, seem, uh, whatchamacallit, they will seem uh, uh, like like wimpy Pokemon, but they are, yeah, they're, they're going to be good. So, let's go right ahead and use another full restore. Yes, there we go. All right, bring it on, Team Rocket. Right here, here we have this guy. He's going to be coming up to us. He's like, there's nothing past here except our warehouse. So, what brings you here? Uh, the warehouse. People have been complaining about you. You know, the tenants that are the managers, the landlords. I don't know. So here we go. Take it on coughing. Level 49. And what's going to happen right here is we're going to go back to Ultra Psycho. And Psychic Attack for the win. Level 25 Ultra Psycho or Toxic Batman. So let's go back to him. And Weezing is looking pretty... Uh, Weezing's looking pretty beefy right there, but there goes a Psychic Attack, level 26, and there we go. That wasn't supposed to happen, but it did anyways. Okay, so, talk to this guy. He's like, you wanted to know what's inside the warehouse? It's better you didn't know. For your own sake, I mean. And, well, we entered one password, and yes, we need the other password. So, we can't do anything there until we get the other password. So, we're going to be going on an adventure right here. And yes, Leonardo for the win. We're going to be surfing it up. Here we are in Memorial Pillar. So what you're going to be able to find here are a lot of uh, bird type trainers. So by all means, get your electric type Pokemon, rock type Pokemon to get uh, get up these guys. And well, here we go. Take it on. Bird Keeper Milo. And he's coming out with this Pidgey right here. Obviously, the switch treating continues. We're going to go with Sparky. I missed you, buddy. Thunder, Thunder Shock for the win. And you know what? Thunder Shock. For the win again, and just like that, we have defeated another bird catcher. Okay, so keep your eyes peeled too, because you will be able to find some berries right here, guys. And again, if you don't know where, where they're at, well, I'll, I'll show you after this. Okay, so bring it on. Let's see what we got. We got Chaz ready to go, and he's coming out with a Spiro. Let's go with Dunks and Batman, and well, let's speed it up a little. Let's go with Sparky, and there we go, Thundershock, and he's coming out with a Spiro, or a Firo, and wow, kicks our butt, takes our names, oh wow, there we go. Alright, let's go, Tonks and Batman, do it, and we're going to be switching out. Of course, we got Leonardo for backup, just in case, and here comes an Ice Beam for the win, and, well, look at that, Chaz has been defeated, oh yes. Alrighty, so, let's see, we got to use a Revive right here. Yes, revive. Anywho, let's see. Grab this, and Sparky, I am so sorry you got your butt kicked. It won't happen again. Okay, and what else do we need? Yeah, we're going to use these fresh waters right here, just in case. There we go, and another fresh water. Ultra Psycho. Okay, so let's move on ahead right here. Turn around. There's nothing there. Nothing there. Just keep your eyes peeled, guys, because some of these gaps may have some items. Or... A Pokemon right here, you know. And here's another Pokemon that you can capture uh, that is from the Johto region. Level 10 Hoppip. Not that strong of a Pokemon. Go ahead and just throw an Ultra Ball if you need to. As you guys can see, Toxic Batman can uh, is more than capable enough to defend itself against this guy. And bam! Caught ourselves another uh, Johto Pokemon right here. Slowly but surely, we are going to fill up this Pokedex. And as you guys can see, Hopip, the Cottonweed Pokemon. Its body is so light, it must grip the ground firmly with its feet to keep it from being flown away or blown away. Hmm. Okay, so no, we're not going to give this guy a nickname. I think I wanted to use this Pokemon at one point in my Johto journeys. And here we found ourselves a Citrus Berry. And not there. 
And right here, crap baskets. <laughs> Getting attacked by these Pokemon, and yeah, don't want none of that. Okay, level eight, seriously. Grab that, here we found ourselves a Bluckberry. And yes, again, I'm looking at the gaps right here, guys, because it's not just the berries, it's about, you know, other stuff here too, and I don't want to get attacked by that guy. So here we go, let's go ahead and talk to this guy. I'm the youngest of the Bird Brothers. The best thing about birds, it has to be the down. What? I didn't make, I, I didn't really get that. So, here we go, taking on another bird keeper. His name is Harold, and yes, he's coming out with a hoo hoo. All right, hoo hoo. How's it going? I'm gonna have to switch you out, and let's go with Sparky right here. And there we go. And just like that, he's coming out with a Noctowl. And this Noctowl, wow, he he is beefy. So Sparky needs some training. Let's go right ahead and squeeze this and payday. Get some money. Faint attack. Faint attack, and yeah, this guy is uh, super strong, and just like that, Puss in Boots grows to level 48. We have defeated Harold. Yes. Yeah, he doesn't look uh, so happy right there. Okay, so, yeah, Pikachu, or Sparky, is getting his butt kicked. I need to definitely, <laughs> I need to definitely, uh, uh, what was it called, uh, train it up just a little bit. This, well, this is the reason why I have him right here, guys. Definitely the, the good reason right here, or why I have these five Pokemon, because, well, kind of want to use the different uh, different kinds of teams and all that stuff. I did say that, and, well, let's go ahead and use a Max Repel. Chances are we might we might get attacked by a Pokemon, but let's go right ahead and see what, what it's all about right here. So here we are in the Tectonic, or Tectonics Memorial or something like that? Let's see, I don't even know. So, scrub, scrub. Hello, your Pokemon look pretty healthy. This is where I buried my Onyx. It's it was named Tectonix. Hmm. Now, if you look right here, here lies Tectonix. It is engraved on a boulder. There is a lemonade place as an offering in front of the grave. Would you like to place another lemonade as an offering? If you guys have a lemonade, which you should get, say yes. And next thing you know, it the trainer right here is like, "Thank you. That was my Tectonix favorite drink. I don't even know you, but your act of kindness." It uplifted me a little. Can you please take this as my thanks? Here we get the TM42. And, well, please be good to your Pokemon, too. I wonder what the TM42 is. Let's go right ahead and take a look. Uh, let's see. Right up here. And uh, TM42. Let's speed it down. All the way down. And that is a Facade. That move is very, very good if you're getting your butt kicked, kind of like my Pokemon right here. And, well, let's go right ahead and see what this is. Here we found ourselves a metal coat. That right there, guys, will power up any kind of a steel tap Pokemon, any kind of steel tap moves, or, you know, it could actually, I don't know, it could actually uh, help evolve two certain Pokemon that I have my eye on. So, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to fast forward all the way back. And uh, we're going to be going up north of Five Island, so I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys, so here we are back in Five Island. Wow. What the fuck? Why does it sound so... Okay. Right there. Okay, can you hear me? Alright. Take two. Alrighty, guys, so here we are in back in Five Island, and what we're going to do now is... Well, we got we to gotta empty out a space right here onto our team because, well... We got other stuff up here north of Five Island. As you guys can probably tell, there's a little gateway right here, a little road, a little sea road up ahead. And yes, you're going to be battling some trainers and all that stuff. Now, off screen, I did capture myself some other Pokemon that you will be able to find here. Near the Tectonics, uh, Tectonics Memorial, you'll be able to find a Quillfish with a Super Rod. And uh, yeah, I forgot about Sentret. <laughs> Completely forgot about that Pokemon. Here we are in the Water Labyrinth, as you guys can tell. It is a bit of a labyrinth, and if you actually go through the whole thing, you'll be able to find an individual right here. They will give you an egg, and there he is. Talk to him. You travel all over the place, don't you? You're not driving your Pokemon too harshly, are you? Let me take a look. Ah, hmm, I see, I see. And, uh, <laughs> he looked at... Okay, so the very first Pokemon I have on my team is Talk to Batman. Obviously, Toxic Batman doesn't have a lot of love for me, so I gotta put my uh, Leonardo in the place, and well, let's go ahead and ask him, and... Oh, impressive! You treat your Pokemon right. I think you could be interested with this. Please, take, uh, I'd like you to have this. And here we have an egg. I received that egg while I was traveling. I'm glad that I met someone like you. 
Well, here we have an egg. And, well, if you guys can tell, it occasionally moves. It should hatch soon. Let's see if we can actually make this egg hatch by the end of this episode. As many of you guys already know, it, you usually get a pokey egg. It, it usually comes out to be Togepi. So, yeah, just don't be too surprised about that, all right? Now, the other thing that we need to do is we're going to be battling because, well, we need to battle. Plus, the reason why I put Puss in Boots back is because, yes, uh, Sparky needs more of the uh, training than it than Puss in Boots. So, eventually, we're going to get back to Puss in Boots right here. And, well, here we have Pokemon Breeder Alice, or Alize, or I can't even pronounce her name. And she's coming out with a Pikachu, so, yes. Let's go right ahead and switch to Bones and Bone Meringue, just like that. And she's coming out with a Meryl, so let's go right here. Let's go with Pikachu versus Pika Blue. And there we go. You messed up with the whole rain dance. We're going to continue with Pikachu right here. Because it's raining. And let's go ahead and Thunder Wave this Pokemon. Double team it. Meteor Mash. Kind of got us. A little funny. Yeah, this Pokemon will not die. So let's go straight for Bones. And Brick Break. And we broke everything. And just like that, we win. Talks to Batman grows to level 30. Bones. Sparky, and everybody gets some experience points. So that's pretty good. Pretty awesome stuff. Okay. So, let's see. I think that's pretty much it right there. Now, if you guys haven't noticed, in Five Island, there are no Pokemart. So just be aware of that. Make sure to stock up. Because uh, your boy Draven forgot to do that. So let's go right ahead and continue on right here. The next place we have to go to is some kind of resort. Well, they call it a resort. And here it is, the Resort Gorgeous, and well, let's go right ahead and use another Max Repel because those are needed. And, well, let's see. I think we need to heal up our Pokemon because, yeah, Sparky, you need to, you need to pick it up, homeboy. Alrighty, so back to it, and, well, let's go right ahead and take on this person. Hmm, the angle, it's not quite there. What kind of angle are we talking about? I do not know. So here we go, taking on Painter Reina, and she is coming out with a Smeargle. Smeargle! And for those who don't know, Smeargle is a very unpredictable Pokemon because it can learn different kinds of moves depending on what it, uh, what it sketches. And as you guys can see, it kind of beat itself up. So yeah, that was kind of dumb. I don't know. Anywho, let's go right ahead and switch, or let's go ahead and swim it over. And here we are in the Resort Gorgeous. And we're going to be taking on quite a few trainers right here. So, let's go right ahead and just battle everybody. And I mean everybody. So, there we go. Lady Jackie wants to take on us. And she's going to be coming out with a Hoppip. So, should I risk it? I'm going to risk it. Level 30. There we go. And there we go. Defeated a good old uh, that Pokemon. And Hoppip. Yes. So Toxic Batman is kicking some butt, taking some names. Okay, it does not fear Grass-type Pokemon. So, there's a double battle ready. And I would assume that... Let's... Okay, so we're trying to train up both Sparky and Toxic Batman. Toxic Batman for obvious reasons. So here we go. We got two people looking at us. Excuse me! I'm trying to paint. Please keep out of my sight. Oh, I seriously thought this was a double battle, but never mind. Here we go. Take it on. Selena. And she does have a Smeargle herself, level 50. Let's go right ahead and go to Leonardo. And go with the Rain Dance and Surf Attack right here. Look at that. We did not waste a step. All right, who's next? Oh, her. And she's going to be looking at us. I'm thinking of having a pool made specially for Pokemon. I mean, the ocean is a pool. Big old pool for the Pokemon, I guess. And here we have a Lady Agillian, or Gillian, or I don't even know how to pronounce that name, but my question is, why can't we get a Mareep in this game? I just want to know. Alright, let's go ahead and go with the Bones, and no, that does not affect my Pokemon, and just like that, we defeated the Mareep. So let's go with the Bone Ring again, and here comes a Flaffy, and there we go. Now, there is a way of getting a Flaffy right here in Pokemon Fire Red or Leaf Green, and that you have to trade it from uh, Pokemon Emerald which we will be doing sometime soon, and I'm kind of, yeah, okay. Nothing right there, and Selfie's house. With these hands, I will create my victory. Oh crud, I'm about to catch these hands, from what she's saying, so here we go. Taking on another painter, and her name is Daisy, so let's go with a Smeargle. All right, let's go right ahead and go with Ultra Sacco, give him a little love. 
And yeah, we're getting confused. Yes, and oh, Toxic Batman. Level 32, Daisy has been defeated. Like the shame of this. I'm red faced. Yes, you are. Okay, let's move on. Hmm. Got this kid uh, taking some laps. Don't know why they're running. And I'm a good runner. I'm really fast. You don't say. Okay. So, here we go. Youngster Destin wanting to come out. And he's going to be coming out with his eradicate. Oh, crud baskets. Okay. So, this Pokemon is annoying. So, let's go with Leonardo. And go with an Ice Beam. And boom. Just like that. And you know what? Let's go continue with the Switch training right here. Actually, let's go with Sparky. This guy's coming out with a Pidgeotto. Eventually, if you want to rebattle this guy, he does evolve his Pidgeotto. So, that's pretty cool right there. So, let's see what this house is all about. This is Selfie's house. Don't know who she is. But as you guys can see, she is nowhere to be found. We actually have to go east of this place in order to find her. So before we do anything, I gotta do a few things before we get to the next island. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay guys, so here we are, back and well, what I needed to do is grab a map of the Lost Cave. Mainly because, well, you're gonna get lost in this cave right here. So, before we go to the last cave, um, yeah, you know what, let's go ahead and battle this guy. I say, this marine life here at the uh, resort agrees with me. I thought he was going to talk about his abs. As many of you guys already know, Draven's kind of like uh, not having abs right now. He's going to be working on it, don't worry guys, he's going to be working on those abs pretty soon here. And, well, he's coming out with the Polyworld. I should take a risk with Sparky, so let's see what happens. And, there we go. And, well... We have defeated this guy. Let's continue on right here. And bam. For the win. And here comes a Tentacruel. Thunderwave this. Of course, they're going to be increasing their uh, defense. And wow, defeated. Okay. Let's go Ultra Psycho. For the win. And there you go. Yes, we have defeated uh, Speedo Torpedo right here. Wow. Sparky must not like us right now because he keeps on fainting. Okay, so here is the Lost Cave. Or the Lost... Uh, what, what was it called again? Lost Cave? Lost Island? Yes, the Lost Cave. And uh, this place is a headache when it comes to not knowing where to go. You know, for me, when I first started this whole thing, it it pretty much took, like, guesses and trying to remember and stuff. And, it, yeah, you, you guys already know. Draven is really, 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 really forgetful, so... That's why we're going to be using a map, just in case. So, let's go right ahead and uh, see what we got here in the last cave. Alrighty, so once you go down this, uh, this entrance right here, there is going to be an individual. Let's go ahead and battle him first. Hey! I thought this was a, an ancient ruin, but it, it's teeming with ghosts! Ghosts, you say? Okay, so here we go, taking on Ruin Maniac Lawson, and he's going to be coming out with his Onyx, so that's a good thing that we got Leonardo with us. Let's go Ice Beam, and you know what, let's continue with the Surf Attack, and he's coming out with the Marowak, and just like that, Toxic Batman grows to level 34. That's how we do it. Anywho, Lost Cave lives up to the name, okay? Because whatever entrance you go through, it might get you through the next room, or it might return you to the first floor, uh, first room. So what I'm doing right here is I'm looking at the map. And from what it looks like, so if you got if you go north, east and south, it will return you back to this room, but if you go west right here, this will return this will actually take you to the second room. Second room right here. You go left or if you go east right here, you'll go back to room 1. North, you'll go to room 3. West room one and then if you go down here you go to room 11 I would suggest going to room 11 first because there will be an item and bam we'll find ourselves the lax incest and this will return you back to room number one so what I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna you know steadily guide you guys so let's see we are in room two this we actually need to go to room three right here so here is room three and what you need to do now is if you go northeast and west, it will return you to room one. But if you go south right here, you're in room four. Now here's the tricky part, guys. You got east and west. East and west will return you to room one. North will go to room number 12 and room number f or 
south, it will go to it will take you to the next floor. Room number five. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna battle this chick. And then I'm gonna, you know, do everything else. So uh, let's go right ahead and battle this chick. Psychic. And uh, she's coming over there not to. Holy crud, okay. Let's go talk to Batman. And let's go ahead and switch it out. Not to. Please do not kill my Sparky. And yeah, we have no Thundershock, so let's go straight for Ultra Psycho. Psychic attack. Psychic attack again. And she's coming out with the Zatu. And well, we do not have the right Pokemon for this, so let's go Ice Beam. And just like that, Not to has been defeated again. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so first is first, let's go up north, and we're going to be going into room number 12. This one will lead us to this item. We will find the Sea Incense, and I believe the Sea Incense will allow you to evolve a Meryl, or no, to... Actually, if you breed a Meryl with the Sea Incense on it, I believe you can actually get yourself an Azuril, which is the weirdest way to breed a Pokemon. So, here we go, room 2. Go up north, go room three, go down south, room four, and here we are in room four, go south again, and you are in room five. Now you're in room five, north, well let's see, north, west, let's see, north, east, south, west, yeah, northwest and south will be going back to room number one, so go east right here. There you'll have room six. In room six, again, you got another a little another monkey wrench right here so if you go north and south it'll return you to room one go back to room uh, go eat or go west you'll go you'll go straight to room seven and if you go east right here you'll be going to room number 13 this will lead you to a max revive and uh, keep an eye out, uh, keep your eyes peeled guys because there is still one more room and that is room 14 that will lead you to I will, I'm hoping I'm hoping to the last person so let's go back and let's go back and do the whole thing again with my uh, crappy explaining so here we go we're going east we're going north we're going south we are going south again and this time we're gonna be going east and now that we're in the east side now time to go back to the west side here we are in room number eight northeast and west leads you back to room one go south this will lead you to room number room number eight right here or yeah room number eight so north and south will lead you to room number one east will lead you to number nine and what or west will lead you to number 14 so let's go right here and we will find the last item of this whole place and this will be a rare candy and look at that we are back so again two here we go we're going north, we're going south, south again, we're going east, we're going west, we're going south. This time we're going to be going, we're going to go, we're going to be going east. And from here we are in room number nine. East, west, and south will lead you to room one. You go up north, this will lead you to room number ten. And you will be able to find Selfie herself. She's looking and she's like, w What do you intend to do with me? Nothing really, I just needed to find you. <laughs> so here we go, taking on Lady Selfie. And she will be coming out with her Persian. Look at this, okay, Persian. He's looking pretty pretty strong uh, by level 49. So let's go with Bones and go with a Brick Break. Oh wow, Torment. Okay, so here we go. Strength Attack does its thing. And yes, you can tell she's rich because she's got two Persians. That is never good. And well, let's go with Surf since you know cat Pokemon don't like they don't like water. So Tonks Batman right here is learning Air Cutter. So we're gonna take away Wing Attack and one, two, and three. There we go. Wing Attack has been replaced with Air Cutter. And Leonardo learning or getting some experience points. And she's like, hey, well, I, I'm afraid you meant to harm me. Yeah, I was here to return you. Well, I'm so glad that you happen to be here. I grew rather bored of walking, and I've, I, I am feeling fatigued. May I ask you to take me home from here? Sure, why not? And believe it or not, guys, there is no reward for this. She's like, thank you. You may go now. Yeah, no friggin' reward. The rich. 
Okay, so now after you found Selfie, she's gonna be like, Oh, do I know you from somewhere? Oh, but that doesn't matter. I am exquisitely bored. Please hear my wish. I wish to see a Pokemon, a Darling Mangy. I want to see one right away. Please make my wish come true. Well, I think I evolved my Pig Hammer into a Primeape, so yeah, that's not gonna work out. <laughs> Never mind, but yes, she will be giving you some rare items and all that stuff. Well, not so rare, just some items and all that stuff. But anywho, this has been this has been a pretty good episode. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna give this rare candy to. Let's go ahead and give it to Tonks and Batman right here. See if it, it elevates its uh, love a little bit. I know it's not gonna evolve pretty anytime soon. And we are gonna be going back to the Pokemon Center because well, we got stuff to do. We gotta finish out this episode. Yes. So anywho guys, we are getting closer and closer towards the end of this whole uh, walkthrough right here. I was hoping that I was uh, going to finish this walkthrough up in this this uh, this week, but it looks like uh, we still got quite a few things to do. I don't mind it. I completely forgot that, you know, we still got Team Rocket to deal with, so yeah, we might as well deal with it. Anywho, thank you guys again for being patient. Thank you guys for watching and for liking, commenting, the support. You know, it makes me happy to see that you guys are being entertained with my videos. If you guys have any suggestions, comment down below. Feel free. Anywho, I will see you guys in the next episode as we continue our adventure right here in the Sevi Islands. See you guys.